welcome back to streaming box now oh my gosh guys uh the last video was a really good one if you missed it that's how we were looking at the specs we're looking at everything that you get and we even installed file link we showed you a quick little tutorial of how to do it so that way we could set up an app now what can we do with the device here as you know i've said it multiple times i'm not a fan of the remote um nvidia i believe did might have sent me a uh, a used one but so i got this one here and there is a device right there plugged in it, we're all ready to go and i had to use my own hdmi cable because they don't provide you one um, there was two batteries already in here i think typically they have them outside but if i'm wrong let me know have you opened this up and found your batteries inside the remote or are they typically outside that's why I have, I have several feel. I, I just have a gut feeling they might have sent me a used one. So check this out. Here is your NVIDIA interface. This is Android TV. Now I do have the, the notification here at the top. I'm going to hit dismiss so that we can go away. At the top, you could click to speak. You got click type and then you got your settings. Let's go ahead and click on settings. Here you got sleep now, restart, AI upscaling. Someone's going to ask this. You got AI enhance and active no unsupported content so you could choose whichever one you want you could go basic detailed enhancement so if you do ai enhance then you'll be able to go high or medium or low and then you could enable a, a demo mode if you like so i'll let you guys go ahead and play with that so i'll leave it as is i'm not going to enhance anything now my network the device preference so from here is just your about what what do i have what's the version of this thing uh, if you want to check your system upgrades this is where you can do it you could toggle this off or on. I have it set to upgrade at 2 a.m. because typically I'm passed out by then, but you could turn it off and on. Now that notification that you got in the beginning, you might get a pop-up. If this is off, it might say, hey, there's an upgrade. What do you want me to do? You could dismiss or you could update. So I'm going to leave it on auto for now. Now from here, you got the, your device name, power off. You got your version. You got plenty of information here to check out. You got your display and sound. This is very simple. Your resolution of where it's at right now. And that's just based on like cables and stuff. And just depends on the on the scaling. And then you got your system storage, home screen, just plenty of easy things here to look at. Just very, very simple stuff here. And you could also reset it. If anybody's curious on how to reset it, this is where you go. Now, if we come here to remotes and accessories, this is where you can go to your shield accessories and you could add stuff. You could also customize the menu buttons from here. Short press, hold, or double press. This is how you're gonna be able to do it. And then you'll be able to add more stuff here if you like. Now, when it comes to apps, this is the apps that you're gonna be able to see, see all apps, and this is everything. Now, I did add Downloader and I did add Ida. Everything else came as is, and you could also look at system apps. But let's just say you're having an issue with uh, Ida, for example, you click on this, you could force stop and you're going to say, OK, you could do a, a clear cache from here. OK, and then you could also clear data from here and hit OK. And then if you want to install, this is where you could do it. So from here, just come down system apps. This is where you'll be able to find all that stuff. Then you got app permissions. This is where you're going to want to turn stuff off or on, just depending on what it is. So additional permissions, I got four more. Um, if you come up here, just backing it up here, special app access, again, energy optimized, uses access, notification access, everything's very, very simple and laid out there. And then of course your accounts, this is going to be your accounts and you could add more accounts if you like. Now, if you do have the NVIDIA app, this is where you're going to be able to add it. So very, very simple here. Here is all your apps. So let's just say you're like, you know, I really don't want to see the play store. All you got to do is long hold the enter button and remove from favorites gone let's just say you're like hey i i really love uh youtube i really love youtube that's the first one i use all the time again long hold move click on that and then you can move it wherever you want once you do move it hit the enter button again and then you're free to scroll around again so that's how you get to it now when it comes to apps if you click on this this is where at the top you could see get more apps that goes to the Google Play Store and then get more games that goes to Google Google Games. And then this is where all your apps and stuff is going to be. Now with when you come down for the rest of the menu, here's Netflix. If you click to the left, notice how there's a little arrow right there. If I go to apps, you don't see one. Netflix, I do. 
if you click to the left I can move it down now remember I have to click on that down one and notice it, it'll kind of graze out a little bit now I could move it wherever I want so let's just say I want prime video on top and I want Netflix all the way at the bottom I click on it and there it is now if I start scrolling up there's prime video so let's just say you're like, what is this uh, featured thing? This looks like it's just going to be featured from your Google movies and stuff. Now, if I don't want it, I click to the left that minus sign and boom, gone. That's that's pretty much it. Again, click here, gone. Now you're just like, oops, I actually want to keep Netflix. Um, how do I get that back? So you come down here to the bottom, customize channels. And of course, my face is covering it again. Here you got your Play Next, you got your, your Google Play movies and TVs. That's what we just deleted. There's Netflix. Notice it's unchecked. I'm going to check it again, and it's going to pop up. You see that? I'm going to uncheck it. No, I know it's kind of grayed out, but if you look right there on the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see it pop in and out as I'm toggle. So there it is. For YouTube, you got two different options. You got your recommended and your trending, which both of them are turned on. And then if you come down here, promotional channels, again, my face keeps covering everything. Uh, app Spotlight, that's the very, very bottom thing. So if I click the back button here to get out of this, see here's App Spotlight. This just gives you a list of all the apps um, available that's in their spotlight that they recommend. And it's featured by the Google Play Store. Here is Netflix once again. So I'm going to go to the right. I'm going to move it. And let's just say, nope, I actually wanted Netflix at the top. My bad. Um, well, second top. <laughs> so there you go. So that's how you can maneuver everything. Now, if you do click on any of the apps, so you got Netflix, Prime Video, Recommended Trending. If you do click on any of this stuff here, uh, so I'm going to click on YouTube and it's going to open up the app from the front. So we're going to go to Streaming Box now. So here is YouTube and what we're going to do is we're going to shoot uh let's see streaming we're gonna do stream you can see like i've been searching a couple things just to test let's go ahead and, and hit the little remote here streaming box now and there we go very very simple and you could find all your stuff here some cool stuff so let's go ahead and click on we're gonna do this one the me cool and it doesn't look like it's 4k or 1080 and now it just snapped in now it just cleared up very good first thing i like to do is i like to hit the enter button here and notice there's no pause it just kind of it's still playing in the background so i'm going to hit enter again to pause it and it unpauses it i'm going to use that pause button there and it does pause it cool so let's click on the three buttons here and the quality there is listed as 4k already now automatically it's going to find the highest quality so it's already listed at 4k that's really good the, the device is just picking it up itself and it looks pretty clean. At first, it looked like it was maybe like, I don't know, 360, 480, 720 possibly. And then it just fixed itself. But the quality on this thing looks really, really nice. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that one. There's so much that you can do with the shield. And I just showed you guys how to do it so far. Uh, very, very simple. Stay tuned for the next episode. We're going to put a value on this thing. We're going to look at everything and see if it is worth it or not. The price tag. It's one of the highest prices device, if not the highest price out there. Um, but there it is. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Let me know what you guys think in the description below. As always, I try to leave you guys links and everything for you guys to check out. Um, you guys take care. Take care of each other. And I'll see you guys soon.